and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to braid a pipe cleaner. Not a pipe cleaner, but a pipe cleaner. Just like how you would braid your hair. Before I start, I wanted to show you guys all my cute little rubber squishies I got. I got a little circle that looks like a bunny, a fish, and I don't know if it's a pig or a deer. They're so cute. They're so cute. And they're rubber. And they're like stress toys. It's red eyes and green hair. And then there's little light blue with little antlers. I, don't, I really am confused whether or not this is a pig or a deer. So comment down below what you think it is. And then I have a blue fish. I love it. Also remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below if you think this is a pig or a deer. So subscribe, like, and comment. So first, you're gonna need three pipe cleaners, different colors, but if you only have one color or you want to make it all one color, go right ahead. It's okay. Then you're going to need some tape. I'm using scotch. So you want to take your index, your middle finger, and your um, ring finger and put it through. So like put your silver one I have. And then my pinky. And you want to hold this like that. And then you want to squeeze them together. I want to make sure they align. And this is what the finished product looks like. So now get a piece of tape. I'm using scotch tape. You don't need a big amount because we're not really going to need it for long. Oops. I just put it on backwards. And we're taping it to keep it together. Ow, I'm just pinching it. And then take your scissor and cut the top of the tape off and the side so they will not look weird and you will not look like it even has tape see and now that it's split into three you're just going to take this part and put it in the middle and then the silver one is going to be out so so you want to braid your pipe cleaners like so, so you take the white one and it and then you put it in the middle and then the white one will become the middle and then the black one will become the outside then the silver one is going to become the middle. And the black one's going in the middle. And then the white one is going to go in the middle. This one's like a Christmassy one, I think. Or a Halloween one. And you take the one outside, inside. And then the black one, in the middle. And then the white one becomes the middle one. And then the silver one becomes the middle one. And then the black one becomes the middle one. And then the white one becomes the middle one. So you just continue doing that, and then the silver one, and then the black one. And just continue doing that until you get all the way down to the bottom. Remember, you only need three pipe cleaners. And guys, I was literally, like, like yesterday, I was, like, talking to my friend, and then, and then I was, like, making this, and it was, like, two minutes. And I'm like, I just made a braided pipe cleaner in two minutes. So it's really easy to make. It's like an under two minute activity. So then remember, so the one on the outside would go inside, and then the one, second one on the outside, and then the middle one, you just keep braiding. If you know how to braid your hair, you should really know how to do this, but if you don't know how to braid, that's okay. You can maybe learn. So again, take the this black one, it will be going in the middle. And then this white one will be becoming the middle one. 
and then the silver one will go in the middle, then the black one will go in the middle, and then the white one will go in the middle, and then the silver one will go in the middle. Now, you want to straighten those out, and you want to straighten this, and it looks like that. And then, instead of using tape, I'm going to make a knot. Um, ask your parents for help if you need help with this. It's a totally okay if you need help. And you want to twist it in a circle like that, and then you want to bend it. Oops, use, and then put it... I'm gonna put it in the hole. Let's try that again, because that did not work out. And if it doesn't work on the first time with your braiding and your knotting, you can always try again, always try again. So I'm making a big circle with these things, and then I'm gonna bend it like that, and then all the pipe cleaner and things are gonna go in here. Like that, and then you're gonna make a little knot. You might need a parent or an older sibling to help because it can be a little bit tricky. And then you, ow, I just got pinched. I keep getting pinched by these things. There you go. You have a little knot. And then you straighten it out. This is what it, look, these are the two examples of what it looks like. Oops, that's that side. And then that's a knot. And then you could take a piece of tape and then wrap it around the knot. And then take a scissor, cut the edges out. If you're wondering why we're using tape, it's for like the little needlings, you don't get pinched by them. And then if you want to make this a bracelet, you can just fold it or and tape it and then wear it. Just like this. This is really cool for Christmas and Thanksgiving, any holidays really. Then you tape it, and there you go, you have a little bracelet, or a pipe cleaner, or braided pipe cleaner. So thank you guys so much for watching, and co also comment down below if you just left it a string, or you made it a bracelet. So comment down below, let me know. So I'll see you guys next week on Fridays and Saturdays. Bye!